name is Nikki and Michelle and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting today's vlog getting a bowl from Playa Bowl. I've been wanting to try this place out for quite some time now. So I went to get a bowl after I came from getting my hair taken down. This is my bowl, it looks so good. I'm gonna eat it in the car because I am illegally parked. But here's my bowl. I just came from getting my hair taken out so I look a mess. But I will show y'all or give y'all a review after I eat it. And then I also got a cabbage because I'm in the mood for cabbage. And so yeah, I think I'm gonna go upstairs, take this off because I've had this on all day and I've been at the hair shop. As you can see, my braids are finally gone. They were up for a long time. <laughs> so I'm gonna move all my seasonings right here. I'm also making mac and cheese the way my boo likes it. And then my extra one. Just need one for tomorrow. Alcohol, I'm about to eat this now. The cabbage. So clumsy, y'all. This is not glass. I haven't tried this barbecue sauce before. It's Memphis style, sweet and savory, sweet and smoky. I got it because there's no high fructose corn syrup. I'm trying to get off of that. So, most barbecue sauce, that's the first ingredient. I'm like, why? So yeah, I think I'm gonna go upstairs, change, put some conditioner in my hair because my hair is so dirty and put something over my hair. I noticed I've been doing these to wear the look on red flowers. I got liver roses, garden roses, and I forget what these are called. Garbaria. So hopefully I can do a nice arrangement for these two. They're already good. Welcome again. My name is Nikia Nichelle and I upload new videos every Tuesdays and Saturdays on homemaking, aesthetics, which is skincare, and I vlog my life. I'm married. I live in Atlanta, Georgia with my wife, Lakeisha, and we've been married a little over three years. So I basically like to document our lives here on YouTube and I like to give skincare tips and I just like to show how I maintain our home and I also share different places to eat around town. So if that interests you, please subscribe. 
Now this is a trick I learned from that floor class we took maybe two years ago. Taking some of the stems off. And then open it up a little bit. I think that may be too long. I'm gonna be short. My toxic trait as a floral arranger is I don't measure the stems. <coughs> I should measure the stems against each other, but I don't. I just cut. That's not how you're supposed to do it. Well, actually, I cut where like the little stem is right there. That's my little guide. See, I just cut him too short, so I'm gonna go ahead and add him over here. So, here's my little arrangement that's gonna go over here. There are absolutely no flowers in Trader Joe's today. I was so upset. I left out of nothing. That's my first time going into Trader Joe's and leaving with nothing. I, um, I'm not going to that location anymore. I think it's the location. And I had sworn off that, off that location a long time ago, so I just need to go back to what I said I wasn't going to do. I feel like every time I vlog, I'm always cooking the same thing. <laughs> so I was like, let me vlog on the day so I can show y'all that I do have versatile. I am versatile when it comes to cooking. I always vlog when I cook the same thing. So, that's also why I kept vlogging. Thursday is normally not a vlogging day. And honestly, I don't have a vlogging day set up yet. I need to. I need to just say, no matter what, I'm vlogging this day. Or no matter what, I'm vlogging that day. Oh, I don't like the leaves. Look with these. They not open up enough. Something. Look. I may put them somewhere else. Maybe I put them on the table. Oh, you know what? I just need to make them shorter. They look better shorter than the roses. Let me turn around so y'all can see. I'm gonna show y'all how I season this chicken. And then I'm gonna FaceTime my mom and grandma when I get ready to cut up this cabbage because they have me in these streets cutting up stuff wrong. <laughs> so I'm gonna call them to make sure I'm cutting this cabbage up right. I oh, went to go see Beyonce movie. I think I may have, that may be in this vlog too, I don't know. I just been randomly vlogging stuff. But anyway, the movie was really good. It was like we were back at the concert and a lot of people like, why are I going to pay to see her twice? Because she's that girl. She is that girl. So, like I said, when we went to see her concert, Keisha is always down for a Beyonce concert no matter what. So, we're going to go see our girl. And it was so funny. The part where she said, look around everybody on mute. We muted. We muted in the theater. That was a girl who laughed. But other than that, you need it. Okay. This is cute. This is really, really cute. All right, I'm gonna clean my area up and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I still have a love-hate relationship with this deer. I don't know if I like it or not, but he here. I think he should like some. Kishi's 
not a fan of this <laughs> candle. But I feel like it gets the scents out the house, like the cooking smells. So I'm ready to cook. Look how gorgeous that is. So gorgeous. Now I'm gonna clean my meat and season it. I wanna season it. Well, I want it to marinate for a good 30 minutes. While this is marinating, I'm gonna pick, cut up my cabbages. So I know better enough to put my cleaning process of my chicken on the internet. So I will come back when my chicken is clean and washed and then we can season together. All right, y'all, so my chicken is clean and now I'm getting ready to season with my seasonings. So I'm using paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, hope it's in frame this barbecue rub, this wood fire, card, wood smoke flavor, liquid smoke, and all spice, and salt and pepper. I'm gonna add the liquid smoke first, cause I want it to like a barbecue flavor. And I'm also gonna add liquid smoke to um, the cabbage. A little bit of browning. Add onion powder, garlic powder, this all purpose seasoning, which I just purchased this. Y'all. I'll go get that in a minute. I'll purpose some paprika. Most people say they can't taste paprika. I can taste it. It's basically red pepper. And I love red pepper. So I can taste it. And okay, and Keisha said these two are the same thing. So we're gonna look at the ingredients. So this rib wrap barbecue rub has Paprika, salt, sugar, garlic, onion, yeast extract, extractives of paprika. This has salt, onion, dehydrated garlic, spices, chili pepper, paprika, rice concentrate, sunflower oil, natural flavor, natural smoke. So this has more of a barbecue flavor than this, but they have separate things. So I'm still gonna add them. <laughs> Maybe not much of the one that has the smoke flavor because I, I use liquid smoke, but I'm still gonna add both. Okay, it smells like barbecue for sure. And I have about, I don't know, maybe eight wings in here. At first I was gonna cut them in half to make them look like, you know, wingettes, like wings you get from like, American Deli, but I didn't feel like doing all that. I already had to cut off the wing part. And why all the chicken, that little nail that be on the chicken wings drives me crazy. So I already have to get rid of that. So that's why I don't be fooling with the extras because once I cut that toenail off, I don't want to touch anything else. All right, so now I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. We're almost out of pepper. And this 
I was on, I didn't have a show child just yet, but it's going around TikTok and Instagram. I bought it up and then Keisha was like, I want to try it too. So we both were on the same page with trying this olive oil. And I'm getting a glow so I can give everything a really, really, really good mix. And I also had to learn with seasoning meat or like anything that I'm like marinating, you have to massage the meat. And when I started using gloves to cook this type of stuff, who my eyes. That's when I became more like into the meat, like massaging it. But before I would dump that stuff on there, <laughs> mix it up with some tongs and put it in the oven. Now like give it a little bit extra loving and TLC. And I think Keisha can taste the difference. All right, so that's all mixed up. Hope y'all can see it. I'm about to take a picture so I can show Keisha because she asked me how it was going. So I'm about to show her. And then I'm going to face my mom. So I will come back to y'all once the cabbages are on. But before I go, here's the chicken in case you couldn't see it. Lid on. Marinate 30 minutes. My mom is actually out visiting my cousin, our cousin. So I wasn't on FaceTime with her, but... Here's the cabbage all chopped up, hopefully. That's right. And here's the onion and garlic sauteing and ready for the carrots, mm, the cabbage. I just cut it up into strips so it won't take that long to cook. And it's just Keisha and I eating it anyway. So hopefully this is right. I'm pretty sure somebody call and tell me if, if I did it wrong. But just give it a good wash. This is like my third wash. And cabbage makes its own um, juice ball, so it doesn't take much. Normally I season by layer, but I'm ready to get everything in here. And I'm just gonna heavily season the top layer. It's in. Everything is in. Now I'm gonna add some liquid smoke because I'm not using the smoked meat if you haven't noticed. So this will give it the flavor that I want it to have. This seasoning. This is just that chicken north. I'll check to see if I need to add anything else. And remember I have onion and garlic at the bottom of the pot and I sauteed that in butter so and I'm gonna add just a little bit of crushed red pepper for flavor and that'll cook out so it won't be spicy because Keisha don't like spicy cabbage and I'm gonna add a bay leaf This is season. Hey baby, it smells really good. All seasoned up. I'm gonna put a lid on it and see how much water it makes by itself before I add water to it because I really want all of that seasoning. I'm gonna add a bay leaf. Cabbage 
cabbages are steaming and making its own broth. I'm gonna show you that once we get these chicken in the oven. And I got the oven on 375. See how that's cooking down and do what I need to do. Okay, now that that's cooking quite fast, I'm gonna turn the heat down to like low and just let that simmer. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna flip it and Keisha wants different type of barbecue than me, so I'm gonna use this time to go ahead and put barbecue sauce on them, and I'm gonna separate them. So, this is mine, this is Keisha. So, I'm gonna put mine on the right, and her on the left. So here are Keisha's wings. Here are my wings. They look so good. We've been eating at the table trays a lot lately. Cause we've just been binge watching and we are finally caught up with Southern Charm. So it comes oh, so on, Yeah. So it comes on Thursdays and we are all caught up. So even though we're eating in here, I'm still gonna set the vibe and like the cameras. So we are done with dinner, it was so good. And now I'm cleaning up the kitchen and Keisha is straining up the living room. I hope you all enjoyed a day in my life. And this is the last vlog you'll see before Christmas. So I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and I will see you in the next vlog, bye.